recently I showed you how to make these cutaway Euro cylinder locks. Made a few of them now. I think it was video 26 if you want to know how to do that. But anyway, what we're going to do today is we're not going to make another one of them. I've got this Yale, decent looking Yale lock. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some slits in there with the axle. I'm going to take the pins out and re-thread them and uh, put some grub screws in. Done a video on that as well. I think that was video 22. You want to know how to re-pin it. So what I'm going to do today, yeah, I'm just going to put some axle cuts in there, uh, re-pin it, not re-pin it, tap them out and put some grub screws in and then uh, assemble it back together. And hopefully when you're picking it, you'll see all these bottom pins lined up. I've obviously got my new flash pinning tray I made in my last video out of a DVD case. So that will come in handy today. Uh, so I'm going to go and do that now. Oh, before I go and strip this, I'm not going to keep this on the video stripping. It's just too long-winded, and we've all seen them stripped apart before. I just want to show you what I made as well yesterday. It was another little pinning tray. Dead easy to do. I won't bother even putting a video on how to do that. Bit of wood, bit of perspex to cut your notches out. Use the same principle as I did on that one yesterday. Then under the perspex, you can just glue some. I've just put the Brummie lock picker on there. And I've just numbered uh, the little cuts out. So, yeah, if you want to make another uh, pinning tray, that's another way of doing it. So, back onto this. I'm going to go and strip this now, and I'm going to put the cuts in. And uh, I'll get back to you and show you how I'm getting Right, so what I've done, I've chopped my lock in half. I've gutted it. I've just put six cuts in there. I used an axle, but the axle won't quite wide enough, so I've had to widen them using a little needle foil, which is, to be honest, took me about, about 30 minutes to do that, but it ain't too bad. I've tapped the bottom out so I can put my grub screws in. Just needs a bit of a polish, but it ain't come out too bad for me first one. So let's just quickly put it back together and we can have a go at picking it. First of all, just put the core back in. Mine is showing off with me pinning trying or This is the worst bit. I ain't missing about with these circlets. Mm. Oh, there you go. That one went on all right that time. Right, so let's line that up. There you go. And what we're going to do now is just drop all these pins in. Oh, by the way, I didn't even realise it when I've been picking this lock in the past, but there was five spools in that. There's only one standard pin in it. And to be honest, it didn't give me much that much difficulty, so I didn't realise there was that many spools in it. Let's put these back in. Do it that way actually so you can see what I'm doing. Just stick the springs in. I ain't gonna keep harping on about this pinning tray, but It does make me chuckle to myself. Right, grub screws. Right. Let's put them in. Dead easy to do this. All you need is a file and an axe saw. And obviously, if you want to put the grub screws in to make it repinnable, you need a, a four mil tap. But you ain't got to do that. You don't have to do that at all. I just do it because I like messing about. Depends what you want to do, though. I mean, if you're only learning, 
I probably wouldn't have all them spools in to start with. I'd probably just put one spool in and have the rest standard. Let's do that and then we'll have a go at picking it. That's if it all works. Sometimes when you when you do it and you make cuts, you leave a little burr inside and uh, the key don't bloody turn when you put it back together. So we'll soon find out. Sorry about this bit. I should have put it all back together first, really, because this is a bit long winded and I know nobody wants to watch someone putting bloody grub screws in. I know normally after about three or four minutes, everybody turns off. So I'm trying to do it as quick as I can, but by doing that, I end up bloody dropping them. I just don't want to get that one cross threaded. There we go. That's me a little practice lock all back together. Does it turn? Yeah, it does. Does the key come out? Yeah, it does. It's a good start. So what I'm going to have a do now is I'm going to have a go at picking it. But so you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to try to pick it close up in my hand. So let's put a tension tool in the bottom. Let's put my finger on there. It's going to be a bit awkward, but I'll give it a try. So can you see them pins? Yeah. So the first pin, let's go straight in at that. Hang on a minute. You see that first pin? That's the standard pin. Something's not right there. I don't know what it is. It's that pin at the back there. There you go. I've got a bit of rotation in. So that first pin is set. Second pin is a mushroom. And if you watch... It's awkward to do this, but if you watch the... Uh, Tension tool, you see the rotation. Do you see the mushroom set? Third pin, another mushroom. Fourth pin. There you go, I've got a bit of movement there. Just get that. See the, the counter rotation you're getting? Get that fourth pin down. Can you see them? Sorry, my fingers are in the way, ain't they? got a big lot of movement now, so I'm thinking it's just this last pin at the back. Loads of counter-rotation, and there you go. It's open. So, yeah, that wasn't too, uh, too hard, considering I was holding it in my hand. But there you go. That's it. Right. Let's just put that back in. I ain't going to bother picking it again, but that's it picked. So, anyway, as always, thanks for watching. You want to make yourself one of them dead easy to do ain't come out too bad really has it uh, yeah as always thanks for watching if you like what you see please subscribe see you next time try a bit